First off, I'd like to thank the NVIDIA team for uh, selecting my poster so I could be here today. It's a great honor to be standing here, so thank you. Um, so why did I build uh, CudaPad? Um, I built it actually out of uh, uh, personal need. Um, I wanted to look at the PTX output um, uh, from for some kernels I was working on. Um, it's kind of like a PTX is kind of like the assembly language. And I wanted to see what it looked like so I could tune my kernel so it would a little faster. And so what I would do is I would take the um, kernel, I'd run it through nvcc.exe manually, and then collect the PTX file, look at it in Notepad, and, and see what it looked like, and then change the kernel, do that again, over and over. So I was like, hmm, you know, it must be a better way. So I created a quick little C-sharp app that um, you could drop the, um, has uh, two windows on it, and it had a button originally in the middle, but it's no longer there. And you uh, paste the kernel in, you hit the button, and the PTX pops out on the right. And that was, um, that was pretty easy. It just was calling the NVCC stuff in the background. And so I started using this and click, 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 the button kept, I kept clicking that thing. I was like, I don't even need to do that. So um, whenever you change the PTX, I mean, change the kernel now, it automatically triggers a recompile. So the right side, the, um, this side right here, is, the, uh, is actually a live um, a view of the, the kernel. So, um, so then I thought, oh, how, how can, it was actually kind of addicting and fun to play with, and it was like, how can I make this a little more fun? So, um, uh, so one thing I added was a, a diff. Um, so whenever you make a change, you change a plus to a minus, um, you can quickly see what PTX changed, and it's kind of really interesting to see what, uh, you know, what changes. And another thing, you can't really see it here, but on the menu, you can change the compiler. So you can have your, your CUDA code, and then, um, you know, change the compiler options to uh, uh, fast math or 64-bit. You can see how the NVCC works. It's actually pretty fun. Um, so, um, and then one last thing I added um, is this uh, quick highlighting thing. So you cl click on a word um, or uh, register and you click, it'll highlight all those instances in a color. Do it again, another color, do it again, another color. You click on any of those again to undo it. And, and what's good about that is you can quickly identify what registers you just want ones to stand out that you're thinking about. So uh, that, that's about it. There's some other things. You'll have to download it to, to check it out. It's, uh, it's free. Uh, it's, it's open source. You just uh, Google or, or look online for CUDAPAD and it'll come right up. Um, so I think that's about it. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you.